Hi, in this tutorial I'm going to show an example of message arguments and the important use of it and how to simplify your mechanics using message arguments. First thing I've done is I put down three levers, uh, I put the messages interact and I want to broadcast it to the rule system. Next the message type here is where we're going to apply the message argument. So when you go ahead and type in the message, we'll say money, you can put the message um, as just money or you can add it with an argument. So I'll go ahead and click that one. Here you can put different argument types, true and false, number or text. We're going to use number in this example. So we'll go ahead and click number and we'll say money and, or we'll say add money. We could even say change money because we can minus instead of add as well. So I'll go ahead and click create. And when we do that, our message becomes yellow and it also adds another field titled change money. We could put any variable we want here. So we'll go ahead and say five. We'll go ahead and delete these two. And we're gonna bring up the HUD so we can see our changes. So we're gonna add a variable and that variable is gonna be a number and that number is just gonna be called money. And the value we have is say 10. We want to show it at the start of the game and we can do it at the bottom or the left, doesn't really matter. And we'll say money. Perfect. Now if we go ahead and press tab, we see no display at the bottom. We need to go ahead and go rules, game screen, display HUD. And from here we can say display.money and we want to display the money icon and set that as true. So now when we press tab, you can see our money is at the bottom. But when we push this button, nothing happens. Next, we need to go to our rule system and click rules, click math, and click add and subtract number. Here, we're gonna listen for the message money, which is the yellow one. The variable we wanna change is the money. Now the value of the change. This is where we select message argument, and that message argument will be change money. And that is it. So now when we press E on this lever, you can see that it's add five to our money each time that we press E. Excellent. Now the good thing about message arguments is we can duplicate this with control D, move this over here, and we can use the same message but change the value to two. And then we can duplicate this, bring this over here, use the same message and make this 100. So now, when we go and press E on this one, you can see at the bottom, we've added five. If we press E on this one, we've added two. If we press E on this one, we add hundreds. And it's using the same message, using the only simple one rule set, um, and that applies to negative as well. So if we wanna do negative 100 and press E, and we go ahead and press E, we've taken away 100 from our money. Nice and easy. And this thing can be applied to shops, to scores, all sorts of things. The whole purpose of message arguments is to use the same message, but change different variables depending on who sends it. So for instance, for tower defense, if your enemies die, you can all have money as the message that gets sent, but the money field can be different for your different mobs. And that will affect cash differently. Um, so that is the purpose of message arguments and that applies for text as well. So I'll give a quick example of that one. We'll go ahead and add a variable. That variable will be text. And we'll say uh, text one. And we'll say hello. And we'll display that. We'll display it at the bottom. We can put it in position five, it doesn't matter. And click create. And next we can go to our rules and we can do change variable values. And here we can set text value. Here we can say change the value of text. Uh, we can have a text with argument. So we need to go and make that. And what we'll do here is we'll change this message to text. We'll put text with argument and we'll change that to text. And this one is uh, just text. And this one here will be hello. And we'll go ahead and delete these. And we'll duplicate this one. And we can make this one goodbye. 
go to our rule system and we want to use the message text which is yellow it, yellow means an argument has been applied we want to change a variable text one and the text we want to change it to is the one that's in the message uh, argument so now do we see the text at the bottom yes we do now if we click this one it says goodbye if we click this one it says hello uh, and this applies to different things as well so if we go to logic and bring out our logic asset and for instance we can put one over here and we'll just put it so we can see the different grounds and we'll add a volume component edit the logic we can change that from a from a sphere to a box and we can apply it so it fits in this box as best as possible and a message we want to send is um, text and as you can see the text has come up and we can say Sandy and then we can duplicate this one bring it over here and we can say Stony. now if we press tab and we can see hello and goodbye perfect and if we go to the left it's sandy if we go to the right it's stony so you can change areas by um, displaying the text at the bottom what area you're in or you can change the text depending on the message gets sent but as you can see all four of these are using the same message text 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 the only thing that's different is the field underneath so this keeps things really neat where you can display different numbers and text using the very same message. So you don't need to crowd your game with different messages. Um, and that's the uh, message argument in a nutshell. If you have any questions about it, please message us on Discord. Have a great day.